Yo guys, what's going on? Tom for two here, or Chessman Lost Dark. Today I just wanted to do a video uh, talking a little bit about the Ager uh, Gate 1 and 2 uh, side skill usage. Uh, I noticed a lot of people have um, you know, commented or mentioned that it's helped them uh, learn how to do party lead. So I just wanted to do a video for Ager as well. Um, just as a kind of disclaimer, I've only cleared normal mode uh, Gate 1 and 2 of Ager. I've currently cleared hard mode Gate 1 making it to the last phase of gate two but i'll try to call out some of the main differences between hard mode and uh, normal mode but the main you know what timings of when you use them um the side skills is pretty much the same um the only thing in hard mode is if your party is lacking a little bit on dps you might have time to just use uh some of the sky side skills just for some extra damage so i'll try to call those out um but yeah if you guys like this sort of content if you're new um i post lost dark um you know, just yap and everything, so just be sure to subscribe, and hope you guys enjoy your stay. So, uh, the first major mech, um, is at 115 bars. Uh, right now, the boss is at 220 bars, so you're gonna have to, you know, do a lot of damage to it until you even hit the first side, uh, skill usage. But in hard mode, I noticed, um, you know, as you can see at the very start, you start with two bars. Um, I just used it in hard mode. Just use Bastion or Wade just for some extra damage and some, you know, you can also use some extra stagger just to get the bar down so, so it's a better DPS window for everybody. Um, so for hard mode, I've been doing that. But in normal mode, you probably just want to hold the side uh, side reel skills until the 115 bar mech. So uh, let's fast forward all the way to the 115 bars. So this is one of the major mech patterns. Um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to break a con's shield. So if you notice his HP bar at the very top, he's all of a sudden going to get a huge shield over it. What you want to do here is as soon as that shield appears, you're going to want to cast Thar, so Control c uh, And you want to do the double cast, so get the second cast off as well as soon as that's up. Uh, the whole point of it is to just break a con's shield. And then, of course, you want to play the mech properly by uh, doing the counters and everything. So... Um, that is pretty simple. Uh, you gotta wait a little bit um, in Oromo to actually, you know, use the very first side skill. But that is the first usage of, um, you know, Thar. And Gate 1, uh, for normal mode at least, I've always just straight up used Thar. There's three instances of when you use the side skill. Uh, for hard mode, um, I use Thar for every single one of these major uh, mechs. And then I just use uh, Bastion for extra DPS if uh, the timing is right. So, and that timing is like, as in this VOD, uh, we're six minutes into gate one. Uh, I probably use Bastion like at like the two minute or three minute mark when it was up, uh, just for some extra damage. So that's the first um, side usage. The next side usage is at 60 bars. So right now uh, in the VOD, we are at 90 bars. So we'll just fast forward all the way to 60 bars. Um, this is the mech when you have to do the uh, DPS stagger check. So the mech um, sort of starts, you'll, you'll hear a con, um, the, the music, the OST, it's going to turn into some rock music. Eventually you're going to have to go all the way to the left side of the map, and then he's going to spawn, Aegir's going to spawn like a giant hand that you're going to have to DPS through. After you DPS through that, you're going to want to use a Just Guard, and then after you get through that hand, um, you're going to want to cast Thar again. Um, just to uh, stagger the um, Akan, uh, the boss. So I'll let this sort of play out a little bit here. Uh, so there's going to be a cutscene. And then he's going to spawn a hand. So as you can see, everyone in normal mode is DPSing the hand. I think in hard mode, two people from the DPS, uh, two of the six uh, DPS players, they will hypers just to get it down faster. Uh, I obviously, obviously missed the just guard, but you can see the stagger bar up here for Akan. Uh, in both normal mode and hard mode, uh, you just cast star. Uh, especially if your deep, if your stagger is a uh, weaker uh, across your entire party. Luckily, with uh, the people that I play with, it's it's pretty good. I mean, I I prioritize uh, stagger and that those types of things with my build, so uh, we're never gonna really fail some of those mechs. So yeah, I never really bother casting the second part of Thar here, um, but. Some people might if their stagger is really that bad. The last uh, side skill uh, usage, so that was just the second usage. The last one is actually going to come up really, really fast. It's at the 30 bar mech. So as you can see, we're playing through this cutscene. This is kind of the last stand phase in normal mode. 
Uh, same applies in hard mode where you're going to see the stagger bar. You just cast star again and you want to do a double cast again as soon as it's up. So as soon as that control C comes up again, you're going to want to cast it um, once more. And once you get that stagger bar down for a con, it's pretty much just a DPS race to the finish. Um, pretty sure in hard mode, um, we just cast it twice and then we all just supports mostly just use hypers and everyone just use hypers just to juice it down as fast as they can so um that's pretty much it for gate one pretty simple right three major checkpoints uh and a star every single time for me at least uh in hard mode it is the same like three stars for each one of these checkpoints but you can use bastion and way uh, uh especially towards the beginning if you do want a little bit more damage and people aren't uh, cycling through their dark grenades so that is gate one. So gate two, we could talk about, uh, let me just pull up the VOD. So gate two, um, there are a few checkpoints to be, uh, I guess to kind of mention. You have to do the left room, and then you do domain expansion. You have to fight the Aegir's heart, and then you have the right room, and then you have um, domain expansion again. So you have to go through left room, right room, and then there's two times uh, the domain expansion, and of course there's a heart. Each kind of, besides the uh, rooms, really, and I'll point out one specific instance when you can use a uh, veil, uh, you're going to need to use a side skill. So I'll fast forward. The first major kind of part is actually in the left room at 259 bars. So as soon as you pass like that first major mech, the statues, and then... Um, yeah, so this is the statues part. Once you kind of get through this part, um, you're going to go into the left room. So the left room, uh, I'm not going to explain, go over the mech. I assume you guys watch the guy of guides and, you know, know like what to do. This is pretty much, this is what I've done in both normal mode and hard mode. But essentially, uh, you will have a veil up, um, when you're in this room. As soon as, um, Aegir... Uh, you can see like he has a little like bar of um, or meter above his head. Not his HP bar, but it's like an additional meter of like how many of the spears you have to like counter, stagger, or damage, uh, and like DPS him down. Um, when the bar or that meter is close to being finished, I just cast um, a veil, just because um, you could get a little bit of extra damage off, and you get the meter um, back anyways. Uh, as soon as you go into domain expansion. So it's just good uh, to get a little bit of extra DPS. So I do it late here, but you want to cast it, you know, as soon as you're done, your teammates are done with the spears, you just cast it right here earlier. Um, that way you get a little bit of extra damage off, and it's free damage, and you get the meter back anyway. So really good part to use it at for both normal mode and hard mode. Um, for the next part, we're going into domain expansion. So domain expansion... Um, the major part that you want to use a veil again. So as you can see, the meter already regained, so you have that up right away. Uh, the boss is pretty much going to teleport mid, and then he's going to summon a wall. And pretty much what you want to do is you want to cast a veil uh, once to destroy the wall. Otherwise, it's just going to wipe everyone. So uh, that's in normal mode. I only cast the veil once, so just control C once. But in hard mode, I found that because our DPS is a little bit tighter, I cast Control c two times. Um, I don't think I do it here in normal mode. I just cast it once here, and I'll let it play out just so that the you guys can see the mech. So he spawns the wall. I Control c here. Normal mode, the DPS is fine, so I only feel the need to cast it once. But in hard mode, um, you can see you, know, the, you have extra meter. Hard mode, just for the extra juice, I cast it a second time. It's always good to have the extra damage, especially if your party, you know, is at eye level and you're, you know, it's the first couple weeks of doing hard mode Aegir. So that's the next usage of the um, side skill in the domain expansion. And this ex and this applies to the next time you go into the domain expansion too. So just got to be wary of the wall. Um, so yeah, we can move on to the next part. So the next part, uh, you get out of the domain expansion. You're going to fight him for a bit and then you're going to have to stagger the heart. And then um, I believe you have to destroy his uh, or break through the shield. So yeah, a cutscene's going to happen. You're going to have to stagger the heart here. And after you stagger the heart, 
uh, you will have to um, above his on his HP bar. He's gonna have a huge shield. So the whole point of the shield uh, is, or the mech is, you want to break through the shield, and then um, you want to use the side skill Alen when the shield HP is around six to eight billion. So um, it's a little bit small, but on the HP, uh, you can see how much of the shield is left. You want to cast it around, you know, five, you know, five to four billion. Uh, of the, of the shield left. Uh, so, and the reason for this is you do extra damage onto Aegir himself, but the whole point is you want to use a, the second cast of Aelin to do lots of damage, and that will destroy the heart as well, because you have to both, you have to break the shield and then run to the heart and destroy it, but Aelin's AoE from her side skill is actually going to destroy the heart as well. So, if I, I kind of skip forward a little bit here. I think I do it a little bit late here. Um, but again, this was just a normal normal mode VOD, but um, I cast it here, uh, and I want to get the second cast off as well. The second cast is very important, so you just do the second cast as well. Um, so everyone should actually be damaging the heart, but if you actually get the Aelin off, it's actually going to destroy the heart itself there. And because of this, if you do it this way, you don't actually have to go into the next room. So you're going to go in anyways, but you did enough DPS. You've got through uh, 150 uh, bars of HP where you don't even have to play that room anymore. So it just saves a whole lot of time, um, especially if you're doing like homework raids, right? You don't want to spend too much time playing other mechs. So you go immediately into the domain expansion. And then the domain expansion, as I mentioned before, is the exact same. You regain your sidebars pretty fast in gate 2, so you just wait to use uh, Avail when that wall appears. So hopefully that was a good explanation of like why you want to cast Aelin two times. The first one is more of a defensive skill, and then the second cast does more damage. Um, and you want to make sure you're within the range of the Heart and uh, Aegir, just so you do more damage like across you know the whole the whole map right you hit both the heart and the um the boss so then it's pretty much just one or two times more um after you go through the domain expansion you get them down to like 95 bars um 95 bars you're going to see a cutscene here uh most people in hard mode and normal mode they wait until thyrain's text appears you wait till he speaks like two words, and then you cast um, Control X or Aelin again. Uh, reason being is there it's like a special Aelin uh, where everyone else teleports to a safe spot, and Aelin just does massive damage to the boss. So this is just like one of those secret uh, special moves to do. Um, unfortunately, you can't cast it a second time, but it's pretty much just a DPS to the finish in normal mode. Um, in hard mode as well, DPS is a little bit tight, so you want to ro like rotate darks. Uh, but uh, because DPS is tight, you want to cast uh, probably a veil or way um, the next time that the side skill is up. So luckily in normal mode, you know, uh, you're it's a little bit more forgiving. But in hard mode, we noticed that the DPS was definitely a little bit tighter. So here, um, I, I'll wait until the side skill meter is back up. And then you will see that uh, I choose to use a uh, way or a veil instead of uh, Aelin. As soon as uh, the boss is not flying up in the air, this is probably crucial, more crucial in hard mode where you don't want to miss the side skill, especially when DPS is a little bit tighter. So uh, here, you just want to use a uh, way or a veil. And if you have the second, you know, cast up, most likely you won't, but just use it. You need the damage anyways. So. Yeah, here I choose to use a veil. You can use way if your aim is pretty good, um, but a veil it works as well, and you're pretty much just DPS needs to finish. Um, in hard mode, you will have to play a zero mech. Now the zero mech, um, of course, you have to do the just guard and the counter, but uh, you use Aelin, um and you use the uh, yeah, you cast Aelin in the uh, zero mech, and you do the second cast as well. So Control X again. Um, two times when you're in that final phase. So hopefully, um, you know, I didn't want to spend too long talking um, and yapping. Just wanted to go through both gates, uh, you know, the different things that I'm seeing um, and noticing, and, and hopefully uh, teach you guys a little bit more about, you know, the side skills. I know 
being the party lead can be a bit uh, daunting, especially and intimidating, especially when you know everyone's relying on you to use the side skills correctly. Um, but yeah, hopefully whatever I yapped about helps you, um, and uh, yeah, you got something out of it. So I'm out. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, just subscribe if you're new if you like this sort of content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.